All right, I'm back. Uh, I just completed the wiring, internal wiring for my combiner box for my PV array. And what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have three PV source circuits running from the array back to my electrical room. And each source circuit will have two strings. Seven panels, plus and minus, seven panels, plus and minus, They'll combine the top of this breaker and then run out to here. And at this point, I will convert to some number four aluminum URD wire and direct bury from here all the way back to the electrical room. And the same will repeat for source circuit two and source circuit three. I've also installed uh, three uh, midnight solar surge protectors 600 volt rating because the maximum VOC for this circuit is going to be 350 volts DC so the maximum operating voltage for the 300 volt DC um, SPD from Midnight Solar was 385, and that was just too close in case in colder temperature it got a little higher. But they wire into this block, as does the uh, source circuit. And like I said, the, the aluminum will pick up here, and this will be where my ground wire comes in. And then I'll also tap off from here and tie it into the cat, uh, can right here. Now each of these strings have a 20 amp SPF fuse. This is a thousand volt DC fuse. Now I've put the fuses in there and closed them so I don't lose them while I'm moving this around. But these are I've had to put the fuses in because the maximum fuse for the panel is 20 amps, according to the ZN Shine data sheet. And that's what I'm using, ZN Shine 450 watt panels. But the output source circuit is gonna have about 22 amps on uh, at maximum power point. So this one I have a, around 11, 11 point something amps. I'd have to look it back up, 11 point something amps. When I come in here, I'm really gonna be closer to 23 amps when I'm coming out. So 23 amps is greater than the 20 amps for the panel string, uh, I mean the fuse for the panels, so I had to split them. These are 40 amp breakers. The I short circuit is something a little bit higher than the uh, maximum power point, and I can't remember what it is now, but I, I calculated it all up. I don't think it turned out too bad. My PV, PV array wires will come in here, the two inch conduit, and then I will peel them off to each of these sets of fuses. So I'll have a total of 12 wires coming in from my PV array and land in here. So I don't think it turned out too bad. But we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna have three of these number four aluminum URD cables, which will come up in this two inch hole, and then fan out in here. Uh, I'm also running three more cables from my electrical room because I can, at maximum, stack. 
six inverters. I currently have five. But if everything works well, I will probably add another PV array identical or near identical to the one that I've got now. And it, this box will sit right here, the other box. So I'm, I'm running through my inverters now, but it's through the grid. I'm sorry about the mess in here, guys. I've been working, building different things, putting in monitors. So I've had to take my covers back off. It'll be all cleaned up when I get through and I'll, I'll shoot you a good video of everything when it's finished up. But uh, this panel will get, this inverter will, will have one of the source circuits here, feeding here, one here, and then one here. These other two will not have PV input at this time. It would strictly be being used for peaking power. And then I have room over here for a sixth inverter uh, if I decide to expand this later. So we'll see. I'm getting closer. Enjoy your day.